Now, the Catholic Church did run almost three quarters of Canada's 130 residential schools. And as we've heard, pressure is growing for it to formally apologize for its role. Well, today, the Pope Francis did hold meetings with two Canadian cardinals at the Vatican. Our Megan Williams brings us details from Rome. Well, the Vatican released the information today that Pope Francis met with the two Canadian cardinals based here in Rome, Michael Cherney and Mark Willette. He met with them separately today, though the Vatican didn't give any information about what was discussed in those meetings. Uh, Vatican experts here, though, say it would be highly unlikely if uh, the discoveries in, in, in the Kamloops uh, former residential school of the 215 bodies of children was not on the agenda at those meetings. Calls within Canada for the Pope to apologize on, the, on behalf of the Catholic Church are growing. In 2018, uh, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau asked the Pope, made a formal request for the Pope to apologize on behalf of the Catholic Church for sexual abuse and abuse of children in the, the Catholic schools, the Catholic residential schools. The Pope chose not to make an apology, although he has for other uh, abuses of Indigenous people. Uh, the, the gravity of these discoveries may change that, although Vatican experts say it's, it's complicated for the Catholic Church to apologize. At least that's how uh, many bishops within the Church feel. Uh, this is not in any way um, a, a justification of that attitude, but experts say that within uh, the hierarchy of the Catholic Church, there's a sense that uh, it's never enough. And, and there's also a kind of concern about continuing to have to issue apologies and and many of the higher ups within the Vatican say experts thought that the global synod held on the issue of sexual abuse in February 2019 where Pope Francis apologized for for the church's handling of the sexual abuse of minors by priests that that would somehow close the issue and of course that is not the case the issue is far from closed and we'll watch closely as to whether or not Pope Francis issues an apology this time. Megan Williams, CBC News, Rome.